Hello, what's going on, all those Benny Gaming people, subscribers and viewers? Today is a glorious day. I am finally reviewing Signage and Mod 12 unofficial for the Kindle Fire HDX. Proven it. Boom. Right there. Right there. 21. Okay. So, basically, why I'm so excited about this is because I quite literally never thought uh, the modding and software developing and just Kindle Fire HDX community as a whole would ever get this far, let alone a different OS from, uh, what do you, uh, Amazon Fire OS. It's pretty amazing, and I'm super happy about it. So... A thing I want to go into with this ROM are, you know, I'm just going to start out, st thank you to the developer, okay? I seriously am just so happy that you and some of your associates or friends or people you work with, can't remember their names, but just thank you to you people who made this ROM or person. Uh, pretty sure you got some help, but I don't know. Just thank you. Just thank you to you guys or girls, or both, I don't know. Just thank you very much for this awesome ROM. And basically some font ROM features that I'm gonna go into now. So the first thing is almost everything works out of the box for the uh, first public release of this ROM. Basically, I'm not on the latest version of the ROM at all. I'm on 5.0.2, it's all the way up to 5.1. Yes, Android 5.1. Engine Mod 12.1, it's up there already right now. So many bugs have been fixed that I didn't even know about or that affect me in any way, and it's just, wow. But anyway, so um, this the reason I'm on this uh, older version is because I don't have an unlocked bootloader. I can't get one, I'm not that technical. Even though I like to think of myself as one with the technicals, I, I can't, I can't. I can't unlock it, okay? I am not experienced with uh, Odin or, well, okay, Odin I'm experienced with, but just unlocking Amazon bootloaders, no, no, not me, not me right here. So yeah, basically some things that you're going to run into when you're looking at the ROM is if you have the twerp recovery, you know, from an older signage mod 11 release or something you're going to run into a few problems. The first one being you can't install the latest version because it requires an unlocked bootloader. You know, I've already, I'm restating, restating for like a 30th time because I can't think straight because the third time I recorded this video. But, um, yeah, so it just, you, for the um, signed bootloader people, this is the only version you're going to get as of right now. But still, it's well worth the upgrade. I mean, it's just butter smooth, okay? The Sinus Mod 11 Overclock Kernel works for this. This app right here, okay, is the best screen recording app out there from my experience. I'm pretty sure everyone's experience. Quick toggle setting things work. It just almost all works. The only things that don't work and... Only things that don't work on this on this version, okay, are mobile networks. They're having some problems with it. We've already got it figured out though on the uh, newer versions. It's just I can't install those because I don't have an unlocked bootloader. Um, all these settings work. All everything works. It's just, yeah. This ROM is just amazing. So basically, um, just. It's signage in Mod 12, you know? Animations are great. Speed, I don't even know how this works out, but it seems like it's been improving over time, okay? I don't know if that's signage Mod. I don't know if that's the developer of, like, this source-coded thing that he put together this ROM, uh, but I just love it. It's a great ROM. Try it out if you can get it. Yeah, it's just amazing. So how I installed this is I just was on my CyanogenMod 11. I completely wiped everything 
not just factory reset, I wiped everything from like, I think, slash directory or something, I don't know. It was some crazy high level. I am not good with the Android file system, so I probably said something really just like, what? But, you know, I completely wiped everything. Uh, I made like a backup so that there's like a file in the system so my uh, computer could recognize it and actually transfer files over. It's just a bug you'll run into if you do what I did. Um, then I installed CyanogenMod 12, uh, signed. You, ha you have to have that signed if you don't have an unlocked bootloader. And then it's booted up with that awesome, you know, CyanogenMod guy thing. And it, it was cool. It was a little blue alien guy that was just on my tablet and was like, hey, what's up? You got CyanogenMod. So, um, yeah. This is a great, great, great ROM. Uh, speed of it's great. Animation's great. I'm repeating myself. It, it, it's just great, okay? So, as you can see here, top quality, 1080p, 60 FPS, no lag, playing it upside down, got to 4, because I'm a boss. That actually isn't my high score. I've got to 89, of course. But, um, yeah. This is the ROM. Uh, links to, I think, four things. The first link will be to the ROM itself. The second link will be to uh, unlocking your bootloader, if you can do that. Remember, the first version of this ROM does not require you to have an unlocked bootloader, but any other version does. Okay, so if you want to get any other version, you have to unlock your bootloader. That will be a link in the description. It's pretty technical, so I would not recommend it if you don't have any experience with like, restoring a ROM on your device or bootloader unlocking in general. It's just not a good idea to try and attempt things like that unless you seriously take your time. I'm talking like weeks, just like studying it and like doing itsy baby steps, you know. It's pretty hard. Third link will be uh, overclock kernel, and then the fourth link will just be, mm, I don't know, my Google Plus. Okay? So, yeah, that's good. Um, I'm not responsible for anything your device, neither is the developer. But, you know, if you're into the modding thing and you hate, absolutely hate, the uh, stock OS that comes with your Kindle, you're not updated to Fire OS 4 and you're willing to try something new and get the most out of your tablet, then seriously, go for this ROM. Go for CyanogenMod 11. If you um, don't quite think that this ROM is um, more polished enough for you, or you just don't like CyanogenMod 12, I don't know why I did that voice. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope I helped you in some way, you know, uh, made you more aware that there's a new ROM out there for the Kindle Fire HDX and that the community is still alive. I was actually quite surprised when they released this. I thought it would never happen, and I was dead wrong. Um, yeah, new things coming out for it left and right. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace!